Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another review video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing the Lua Node MCU ESP-12F Wi-Fi Development Board. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on link in description below. Be sure to check out my other social media networks such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This board can be ordered from ICS Station's website and I will be including a link to the product in the description below. This board is a great way to learn or expand your Arduino projects. Arduino is an electronics platform which uses both software and hardware to make interactive projects. It's able to take in various inputs such as switches, sensors, or internet variables. This in turn can be used for a variety of outputs such as LEDs, screens, motors, audio, etc. It uses an ESP-12F Wi-Fi module, originally based on the ESP-12E, which is a four-layer board design, includes a revised antenna that increases distance by 30 to 50 percent, has a built-in PCB antenna, and has a 4 megabyte flash. This module is very reliable and also quite easy to set up. This board is a 30-pin design and it is breadboard friendly. Here I'm using a breadboard as an example, however, this circuit board is too wide, so you either need a wider breadboard or two side by side. It includes both a flash and reset momentary switches, but isn't needed as once it's connected, it will automatically do this for you. This board connects via micro USB port, uses a CH340G chip, which is compatible with the USB 2.0 interface and supports both 5 and 3.3 voltage applications. This board uses an AMS 1117 voltage regulator that has a line regulation of 0.2% max and a load regulation of 0.4% max. The dimensions of this board are about 2.25 inches or 5.8 centimeters in length 1.25 inches or 3.1 centimeters in width and 0.5 inches or 1.4 centimeters in height including the pins. The Arduino program need to flash this board can be downloaded online for free from Arduino's website, both available in Windows and Mac applications. You may or may not need a driver for Arduino's programming, this will depend on what you have installed already. Overall this board is extremely compact, is reliable, affordable and great for beginners or advanced users. I actually have an idea to use this board on an automotive application just waiting on some parts to complete for the project so be sure to stay tuned for that. New videos are being uploaded every week don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.